Hey guys, welcome to this video. Here we are going to be looking at setting up a recurring job for our annual billable job. So how this is, dif is different to what we've just looked at is these jobs uh, we're going to be billing out of XPM uh, once the work is finished or of course uh, we will be billing based on a quote that we've quoted the client for. So uh, let's jump in and we'll check it out together. So here we are on the job manager. So we want to go to recurring and we're going to set up a new recurring job. Now we want to repeat this every 12 months just as the other example, but this one's gonna be a little bit different. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up. So in the previous example, we went and set it up for uh, last financial year. This one, however, we're gonna set this up to be the 1st of January, 2019. So we're not rolling back a year. We're gonna do it for the, the year coming. Choose the client. So let's do a different client, client than last time. We can go for uh, Bobby McGilbert. Template, let's do the same template though. This one here, of course, we're gonna choose our uh, billable fees. And what we're gonna do, last time we chose year, we're gonna go year minus N. So if we choose this, and then we go year minus one. Now, let's explain that. So the reason I've done that is we want this to say 2018 annual accounts. So what I've done is, because the job is being created in the 2019 year, is going to say, uh, 2018 annual accounts plus quarterly coaching. So it's gonna ref refer back to the previous year, even though the start date is gonna be the 2019. And that's how it's different between the two methods. The other one, we had the job open for two years and it started in the actual financial year. Where this one here, we don't need to have that job open for the current financial year, because there's no billing to capture. We only need it open for the year we're working on it. So really simple, we just make it year minus one. And then the duration is gonna be 12 months. Again, that's in contrast to the 24 months for the previous one. We still want the job to be roll over to not in, and we want to select our partner for the job. And if we do know the staff, again, we can allocate the staff at this stage here. So just give it one little check over, make sure we've done that correctly. Looks pretty good to me. And then we hit save. So what that does is that's all been set up. So if I go to jobs, Actually, no, there won't be any job there because that's not going to be created until the 1st of January 2019, and it's going to create that one for, if we, if we look at the difference between these two here, is in 2019, Bobby McGilbert's job is going to be created for 2018 annual accounts, where Hamilton Smith Limited, their job is going to be created for the 2019 year. So that's the difference between the two. So now what I'll get you to do is go through and set up having a practice with both methods there. Uh, also note uh, about the invoicing. If you do that invoicing, make sure your zero uh, connection is uh, disabled uh, in case you have set it, that up. And uh, yeah, go have a bit of a play around and in the next video, I'll be taking you through how we set up uh, jobs uh, just for those uh, ad hoc uh, jobs that come up throughout the year. So I hope that all makes sense. I'll see you in the next video.